uh, this is for you. I'm going to place this about there. Uh, basically, imagine it now. You're on the final green. This putt is to win the game against Alice Cooper mm -hmm. and finally settle who is the better golfer of the two. Okay. Now, ideally, we'd have Alice Cooper here giving you dirty looks. We don't have Alice Cooper. No. Here's one we prepared earlier. <laughs> Lord, how are you oh, how are you doing? Good to see you, Colin. Great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you. <laughs> Clearly, you know your golf. <laughs> All right, I will uh, remove the flag for you. Uh, so, with the pressure of Alice Cooper watching on, uh, let's... Uh, hang on, quiet, quiet on the green. In your own time, Lloyd. <laughs> Substitute can only go badly now. That was pretty damn impressive. <laughs> At the end of that round, the scores are Alan, Emily, Sammy on six points, Miff, Lloyd, Dave out in front, 11 points. Oh, One member of each team has to sing well known songs using the words of an unrelated piece of text. Your teammates have to identify those songs. Sammy. We'll be singing first for Alan and Emily, and you'll be taking your lyrics from Bill Oddie's Little Black Bird book. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sammy J. I think you've got your one crush for the evening, Dave, okay? Don't come <laughs> <with> you, <man. laughs> The fact is, birds bring out the worst in people, and what's more, bird watching attracts a greater number of loonies than any other hobby. And of a greater variety from upper class twits to punks, the proof is in this book. So, why then the fallacious public image of the bird watcher? I think it's For the Longest Time by Billy Joel. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> Set out from Birmingham Friday evening, drive all night to Northumberland Saturday morning, tick off Palace's warbler at Huxley, drive across to Cheshire D to tick off Wilson's fatter rope at Shot and Pools, drive in the afternoon across to home in Norfolk to tick off. Dusky warbler on Saturday evening. If it's too dark, no, you don't know it. I'll open it up to this team. Yes. That's what friends are for. It's that's what friends oh, are for. Well Dion Warwick. Well stolen, Nick. Well done. There have been several species that were originally ornamental or cage birds that have now established themselves in the wild and are therefore tickable. For example, the Canada goose, Mandarin duck, or Egyptian goose, and a couple of gaudy. Uh, Sounds of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. Yes, it is. Sounds of Silence, Simon and Garfunkel, ladies and gentlemen, Sammy J. Well done. Lloyd, you'll be singing I'm for Miff and Dave, and you'll be taking your lyrics from a Spix and Specs favourite, The Offal Cookbook. Oh. Oh. It's so nice. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd Cole. I'm sitting in Lloyd's seat. <laughs> oh, no. I reckon this is your ideal moment in life. Lloyd Cole singing from a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <what are> we... <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Calves and pigs' ears can be prepared in the same way as they cook more, as they cook more. Quickly than feet, they do not release as much gelatin. Pink trotters, pink trotters, <laughs> pink trotters. I'm going to throw it over because the other team know it. But, uh, uh, get it on by T-Rex. It's Get oh, It On by yeah. T-Rex. Oh, boy. Well stolen by Alan. Oh, Calves and lamb's brains need bread. Brief, gentle cooking in their fragile structure. 
poached whole in a wine or vinegar cork bouillon they cook to firm yet creamy mm-hmm. <laughs> absorb their flavor from the fragrant cooking liquid lamb's brains are usually served whole cow's brains which are younger are cut into slices for your next meal <laughs> Ooh, yeah. poaching the brains <laughs> Oh, Poaching the brains. If you guys don't know it, I'm going to open it up to this side. Uh, like a Rolling Stone, Bob Dylan. Yes, it is. Like a Rolling Stone, oh, Bob Dylan. Yeah, we are hopeless. Oh, it's... oh, boy. All right. You... I know you can't fail with this one. OK, good. <laughs> the supple texture of tripe enables you to wrap it round. Mm-hmm. A filling made appetizing savory packages. Simmer gently in an aromatic. The fillings will stay neatly enclosed while the tripe gradually softens and absorbs flavor. While the tripe gradually softens and absorbs flavor. I'm going to open it up, I'm afraid. Maggie yeah. May. It's Rod Maggie Stewart. made by Rod Stewart. Oh, Every yeah. single point stolen yeah. by Alan's team, yeah. then. Oh, the scores have tightened up. Alan, Emily, Sammy on 11 points. Miff, Lloyd and Dave, right. one point in front, 12. Oh, 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 oh. It's time for the final countdown. Okay. Teams.